Hi, this is Jason Arians, and today I'm going to be giving an overview of iOS DHCP. It's a feature that acts similar to Windows Server, where basically if you have uh, certain clients with certain MAC addresses that you want to always get the exact same IP address, you can create a static binding file uh, that iOS will read from to assign a particular MAC address, a particular IP. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I've got a, a voice VLAN with two phones on it. If I do a show IP DHCP binding, uh, I can see that the uh, IP address of the certain client identifier uh, was given a lease. Uh, if you take a look at my show run begin DHCP, you'll see that I've got IP DHCP excluded address. So I'm basically excluding a certain range. And then under the pool, I've got a... Uh, a network that matches up with the exclusion range, a default router, and option 150 for the phones to know where call manager is. Um, what I'm interested in is a particular device to get a certain IP address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a config T, and I'm going to create a file on the flash using the IP DHCP database, dhcp.txt. So this is a file, doesn't exist, I'm going to write it, and the way I'm going to write it is it's going to take the existing bindings and write them into that DHCP database, and then I can edit it. So I'm going to do a no service DHCP, stop the DHCP service, and then I'm going to do a service DHCP, and then if I do a more flash colon dhcp.txt, I'll see an example. Now I could have just a notepad if I knew the whole format of this file. I could have just wrote this in notepad. Um, uh, the problem is I wouldn't necessarily know what my client identifier was of the PC that was requesting you know, a certain IP address. So I find it easier just to go ahead and register the phones like normal, make certain they are registered, do an IP DHCP database and then a file name on the flash. No service DHCP, service DHCP, and now I've got this. And now what I can do is I can actually edit this file and modify it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say more flash, right? I'm going to copy this to notepad and uh, edit it, and then I'll be able to do an FTP or TFTP copy uh, back up to the router uh, anytime I want to edit this file. And this is an overview. Actually, what I left out here was, now how do I get my pool to read the file um, so that when they boot up, they give it that? Show run, begin DHCP. So now what I need to do is take my IP pool phones and tell it, instead of giving out this network address, to give out the, the, the information from the file. So what I'm going to do is config T, IP DHCP pool phones, no network, 142.102.66.0. Instead, I'm going to say origin file, I'm sorry, origin file, Slash colon dhcp.txt. And I still leave in my default router, my options, my DNS server. Um, I'm just basically using it to match up a, uh, a file. So now I do a debug uh, IP DHCP server packet. And what should happen now is if I go to a phone, setting, star, star, pound, on the display screen, hit the more option and say erase. That'll delete my network options on the phone. You'll see that it sent a uh, unregister. And then basically there's a notice of an assignment message. Phone's still booting up. I believe that was where it did a release. Discover, offer. So 
like it already has the reply. But on the phone, I'm seeing the Cisco logo. Let's give it a minute. Okay, and it sends a DHCP act back. And the phone is uh, up and registered to, uh, to call manager. And again, now if I want to make any changes, I'll basically do a more flash colon DHCP.txt edit it in a notepad, and then uh, copy it back up to the router uh, in order to change anything.